welcome to biology exams for you in this presentation we are going to discuss a topic how to count chromosome number during cell division and this many questions i found many questions from this topic in exams like gri csar etc and first of all what is a chromosome normally we are made up of billions of cells and each cell has a nucleus inside the nucleus dna is resides so this dna is very long as if we stretch out this dna it would be approximately 3 meters long how this dna is packaged there comes the chromosome dna is packaged into thread like structures called as chromosomes chromosomes are not visible even under the microscope it is visible under the microscope only at the time of division and this is a metaphase chromosome and at this stage the dna is most content uh, now let us move into the topic this is the key concept behind this topic at times chromosome has a single chromatid that is before synthetic phase and at times we often draw a chromosome with two chromatid that is normally after s phase and here duplicated chromosomes are called as chromatids and they are held together at central now let us have a look into the cell cycle after the daughter cells are formed there is a g1 phase where the cell grows enlarges and prepares for dna duplication and in the synthetic phase the dna is copied now the cell has double the times of dna then during the g2 phase the cell prepares for mitosis it will be synthesizing proteins that are all required during mitosis so when a cell enters mitosis during the prophase it will be having two chromatids that are held at centromere now this is the rule one for counting the number of chromosome the number of chromosome is equal to count the number of functional centromere so as i mentioned in the first slide we often draw this chromosome as having a single chromatid so in the first figure one the number of chromosome is one in the figure 2 you can see that the two chromatids are held at centromere so the number of functional centromere is 1 therefore the number of chromosome is also 1 now this is the rule 2 in order to count the number of dna molecule you just count the number of chromatids in the figure 1 you can see that there is a single chromatid therefore the number of dna molecule is also 1 in the figure 2 that is after s phase normally a chromosome will be having two chromatids that are held together at centromere here the number of chromatids is equal to 2 therefore the number of dna molecule is also 2 now in order to count the number of chromosome and dna molecule these are the rules just keep in mind the number of chromosome you just count the number of functional centromere in order to count the number of dna molecule in different stages of cell cycle we just count the number of chromatids and now let us take some example to in order to make this concept clear uh, this is the mitotic prophase here the chromosome number of this given cell is 4 so we are going to count the number of chromosome here in prophase as we all know it is after s phase so the dna has duplicated therefore the number of chromosomes number of chromosomes is 4 and uh, number of chromatids is 8 here each chromosome has two chromatids that is held at centromere now let us have a look into the next phase of the cell cycle mitosis that is metaphase here the chromosomes are arranged at the metaphase plate you can see that the number of chromosomes is 4 as the number of functional centromere is 4 and here the number of chromatids or dna molecule is 8 as each chromosome 
has two chromatids that are held at centromere. Hope the thing is clear. Now let us look into the next stage that is anaphase. That is the mitotic anaphase. So here the chromosome starts moving towards the poles. Sister chromatids are separated and uh, the spindle fibers are actually pulling it towards the poles. Uh, you can see that here the number of chromosomes just count the number of functional centromere. Then it will be 8. Here the number of chromatids is also 8 as each centromere or each chromosome has a single chromatid. And uh, now let us move into the next phase that is the telophase. Uh, during the telophase the chromosome the chromosomes are pulled towards the poles and uh, later cytokinesis takes place, cleavage for occurs, nucleolus reappears. So after telophase we will be getting two daughter cells and the number of chromosomes in each daughter cells will be cell will be four, whereas the number of chromatids or DNA molecule in each daughter cell is four. Here the chromatid, each chromosome has a single chromatid. For more detailed notes, log on to www.biologyexamsforyou.com. Thanks for watching.